Scorpios, what's up, you sexy motherfuckers? Welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We're doing your love reading this week, my babies. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if the reading resonates, please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower. Links below in the description. Also, I just want to thank you guys for everything, for supporting my channel, for always being there. You guys are amazing. I'm always sending you blessings. You guys are the best. You know it already. I don't need to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> what does Scorpio need to know this week? What's coming towards them? All right. Well, we know the first one is abundance. Abundance is all around you. Remember, abundance comes in all shapes and forms. All right, guys, let's get into this. I'm going to do a slightly different setup today because I did it for myself the other day. And I kind of liked it. So I wanted to try it with you guys. I didn't do it with the... Um, all sides, but now I can't, here we go. I'm like, where the hell did the decks go that I had out? So what's coming up for Scorpios this week in love spirit or in general? What do they need to know? What do my Scorpios need to know this week, spirit? What's coming towards them? Okay, we got the past, moon, presence, the sky future, loyalty, and the overall is the birds. Maybe gossip, maybe talking, maybe a love interest for some of you who thought they were slick, but you're still their wish fulfillment and they're being led towards you. But let's move on. So in the past, you were assessing a lot of things. You emotionally walked away from something, Scorpio. Now you're cutting things off that don't serve you. You're moving in a grounded energy. You're going towards your 10 of cups and you're going to see a lot of growth. People are talking about your growth. Okay, where is this leading for my Scorpios? Where is this leading? The tower and the star, wow. So this was a burden. It, it, it could have been a shock. It could have been a lot of like, oh, depression, sadness, shock. And it was supposed to lead you to this energy, Scorpio, where you're a, you know that you're gonna have success. So I feel like it was a major test, but now that you've passed it, you're insured success, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's this cutoff? that Scorpio is going through right now. Wow, luck. Okay, the clover is, a well, you guys already know, we don't need to read that whole damn thing, but it's about good luck and happiness and well-being. What else? The heart signifies great joy when near. So whatever you're cutting out is bringing you complete happiness. With the nine of pentacles and the five of wands, I feel like you cut out some drama. You cut out people that were indecisive or in two minds or brought burdens to your life. You're moving from your heart and look at the bottom. I have 10 of cups, baby. The bouquet of flowers is an indication of a long and happy life. That's what's up. And that's where we're going, 10 of cups. So tell me about this loyalty for Scorpio. We have the sun. <laughs> when the sun is here, it signifies happiness. Mm -hmm. And if it's near any kind of snakes or clouds, it vexes it out. So what else? Lightning. This is a surprise or it could be a disagreement. But I feel like it's you're going to be shocked that this is leading you to a happier place than you could have ever imagined, Scorpio. You never dreamed that you could go this far. Mm -hmm. And what's at the bottom? The park. And the lion, a sudden shock from bad news, and then you go forward. It says the park foretells a new love when near. So people are talking about, you know, that with this bad news and the gossip, I feel like they've got a lot of bad news or they were hoping that for you. But you are living your best life, Scorpio. You've got new love for yourself and your life. Get it, baby. Mm -hmm. They can't stop you. Some of you might have a, um, a Leo. That's an annoyance to you, too. I kind of heard that. All right, so let's pick this up. And now we're going to go to our other deck. 
And don't worry, this is almost done. But I'm seeing it. I'm seeing what's going on here, and I like it. I kind of like this layout a lot more. Yeah, somebody wanted you blind to some kind of contract, and you're not. You awaken, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. When don't you, right? <laughs> so tell me what this is all about for my babies. What is this um, past, future, past, present, future shit coming in right now? Tell me more about this past. You really did have to evaluate your emotions strongly. We have the idea and evidence. Do I want to pull from the bottom? No. I just want to pull one more. Compromise. We got stubbornness here. Someone was... It was good you didn't listen to whoever this person was that was trying to get you to reconcile. Mm-hmm. I feel like um, someone could have also been trying to like steal your ideas of success too in the past. There's a lot of like someone trying to shadow your energy and you cutting them off big time, Scorpio. You towered this person and then it made you reevaluate your own emotions. Yep. And then I'm noticing this little star here. So it was right underneath your nose the whole time. But something had to be broken down inside of you first emotionally to get here. And now whoever this person was, I feel like they had a couple of entities attached to them, but they were trying to get you to compromise. And no, you don't do that. You caught this person up, I see. And you went your own way. You ain't trying to hear anything this person says because you see they don't have any reservation. They can't stop and they don't care. And that they vowed and wished and hoped for you and worship you. But no, this person doesn't listen to nobody. Or the energy that was around you, okay? So what is this present energy with luck and love and cutting people out and getting grounded stress stubbornness reservation desire so someone is really stressed out right now they have no chill when it comes to you scorpio someone wanted a natural disaster for your spirituality and for your luck to fall and for you not to go towards your goals but you you are you're going towards a commitment and you're going to triumph and these people can't steal someone could have been trying to steal something too like if you were in a commitment they could have been trying to provoke you to go towards them just so they could take your money and they were working on this with another person they were going to use this money to go somewhere here but it, they got stopped whatever it was what the fuck so they were desiring your wealth or your what you made for yourself, Scorpio, and they didn't care. They were just stressed and stubborn. They weren't going to put the work in. Now this person can't sleep. They don't want to hear about it, but that's what they get. They don't want to hear about your good luck and good fortune. They shouldn't be uh, studying you so much. <laughs> okay. So tell me about this shocking happiness in the future for Scorpio, because nothing's better than this. Nothing. Oh, someone is pissed about it, though. Who is this bitch? We don't care about you. Oh, because they're homeless. They want you to donate because they're a failure, because they're a castaway, because they have madness inside of them. What the hell? They really wanted you to be out there like that, Scorpio? What the hell? Oh, yes, they do. They wanted to protest for you to lose your blessings, right? Because if you did, they could get something from you. And trap you, Scorpio? Something about real estate? They were trying to steal your blessings. They're mad about your blessings, period, because they ain't got them. Because these people are inadequate, they're offensive, and they don't do shit. Period. No wonder why you had to cut them off. So tell me about this dumbass gossip, then. What is this about here? Because Scorpio is chilling for real. You don't even care. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing, honestly. Because it says the park foretells a new love. Mm -hmm. And if it's if it's distant, it means a false friend. So we already know this was a false friend that was trying to create this attack. Look, they were scared. Now they're scared. Oh yeah, they're going to jail. They're going to spiritual day jail. Motherfucker. That's what you get. One more. Yeah, because you love yourself. Oh, <laughs> nothing works when you love yourself. But this is how they thought you were. That's what they thought. They thought you were lying to yourself about your uh, relationship, sweet love, couple. You and this person were happy together. And these people really thought you weren't a spiritualist who meditates. And now this disaster is going towards them because you love yourself. This person's getting, they're scared. They're scared of what's next. We got a feminine and a masculine over there that should have shut the hell up with all this gossiping. 
Because people see. Show and proof right here. All right. Damn. That's a lot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So what is the overall outcome of this past energy for Scorpio here? You averted a disaster. Like you completely just opened up the door. And I don't even know if you know yet because you're probably still a little stressed out from this person. But you just wait. We got the priest and the friend. Did want to come out in the reverse. One more, please. The scholar. So you do have people that are studying you. Okay, we got the foe at the bottom here. Melancholy and flight. All right. So this is, I feel, someone at a distance from you who's very, you know, childish, immature. Some of you an old friend, maybe even this person's friend, or you friend zone them. But they're still studying you while you're over here healing in this priest energy. That's past. Tell me about present. Yeah, this person has been stalking you for real. Whoever you cut off in this, this past energy, they cannot let you go. And that's why spirit, I think, is coming in and locking this person up spiritually. What is this um, current energy? Waiting. A reunion. And the room. So, again, this is you and your person, your soulmate or your twin coming together, maybe moving in with each other, but taking it to the next level. I'm seeing some of you travel to foreign lands as well. I'm hearing that. But this is really beautiful. This is new love and happiness and joy. But people are a little stressed out about it. If you can't have, tell, lots of people are trying to protest against your blessings, Scorpio. It's strange. But look at them in the end. Okay. <laughs> what is this over here? A wedding. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone was definitely trying to break something up. The wife and thoughts. And then we got child at the bottom with the thief. Someone was trying to knock someone up and cause misfortune to a sweetheart because they were jealous of how someone was giving to you and wouldn't stop. And this person knew they weren't stable, but they also aren't no spring chicken. And they're jealous of this financially stable person who's happy. So they come in false because they're not really happy here. But they thought they could show that they could be faithful to you, but they can't. They don't know how to do that. They're not allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Let me see what this is now. So just know someone has thoughts of making you their wife, wanting to be with you, mad that you're happy with someone else. But this person, I feel, knew that. There was some bullshit going on in the past with maybe them in a karmic or just them being immature and not stepping up towards you, okay? And you had to learn a lot of lessons to get here. Fortune is on your side, Scorpio. You're about to get news about this very soon. After a lot of hard work you've put in. That's what I'm getting. The fight won't be so hard anymore. Damn! Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here, nigga. Yes, that's what's going on, for real. Look at this. I can't make it up. You worked your ass off to get here. Are these not the same people? Look at what you're getting. Ooh, they mad. They're scared, because they know the truth. They know. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So... Let's get into the tarot part of this reading, but just know that you got a lot of good shit coming in. There's some some jealous bitches down here. And I feel like this is happening this week, Scorpio, where this news is coming in. Like, you might not have thought you'd ever get this, but you are. And for some of you, yes, it could be um, with the soldier in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. This could be some kind of inheritance or, you know, uh, money passed down as well. But this is big. Whatever this is, it's going to change your whole life. Damn. All right. All right, Scorpios. Let's get into this. Let's see what's coming towards you and the person on your mind or just in general in love. What is coming towards my Scorpios? What do they need to know, angels? Oh, damn. Look at what flew out already. Queen of Pentacles. Every card that's flying out of this deck today is about money, Scorpio. What's coming towards Scorpio? Oh, the King of Swords. Okay. For some of you, that could be like an ex-husband that wants you back. Look. Mm -hmm. 
But for some, it's a um, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Strong Libra, Virgo, though. Who's coming towards my Scorpio? The Eight of Cups. It did want to come out in the reverse. And the Fool. Okay. Sign of Aries. Crowning. Okay. Okay. Central. Someone's clinging. And the foundation, the tower. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Somebody doesn't like you, but we don't give a shit. Here it is, stalking you, your fortune, because you make good decisions. Here you are making boss moves and someone is mad. They don't want you to listen to your intuition. This could be a Pisces, but it's just someone who doesn't listen to their intuition or a fake prophet or wannabe. Yes. What is the outcome? The Nine of Wands. They're still going to keep trying this with you, Scorpio. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yep. They just can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> oh, my God. No, this isn't going to work. That's what I'm hearing. No, this isn't going to work. Some of you, it could be a fire sign that's relentless and won't quit, like, trying to, like, come towards you. And maybe an earth sign that's working really hard to make things work with you guys but yeah let's get into this where's my other deck at okay so you're not playing Scorpio you are all about your money right now but you're also in this like <laughs> look at what I split the deck you look good Scorpio and you're emotionally fulfilled but my point was that you're very stable right now when it comes to your thought process and what you want, you're speaking truth. You're in your courage. You have that mental power. And this is also bringing in that money, that comfort you like. And you're very down to earth right now. This is like natural wealth, guys. Yes, natural wealth. So what does Scorpio need to know? Some of you could be in a commitment. If not, I feel like you're heading towards one or this is what you've been focused on lately. What is this for my Scorps? The Knight of Swords, fast communication, the Two of Pentacles, make a choice, Ace of Swords. So this communication that's coming in is a lie. This week, Scorpio, you're going to hear from possibly a King of Cups in the reverse here, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Justice. They feel like something isn't fair. This could be someone in your family dynamic as well, but they're very butthurt, Five of Cups. They're not happy about the family dynamic you're in or a connection. They feel like it's not fair. And like I said, for some of you, this could be a missed opportunity with the page of pentacles in the reverse where someone feels like they should have proposed or they should have put a ring on it or they should have just showed up in general, but they did not. Okay. Um, and now I feel like this person's trying to lie to you about something for sure. Yeah. They want to create delays by selling false hope to you is basically it, Scorpio. That's what, I, what I'm feeling. And they're not stopping. And I feel like you're probably telling this person straight up, like, leave me the fuck alone. I've got my ambition and you need to get out of my way. I'm not juggling anything. You're balancing your partnerships right now, Scorpio, and your choices. So what's the outcome? The two of wands in the reverse with the tower in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Hmm. Let me think about that. Why? You just, I feel like you're telling this person, you definitely got me fucked up. That's what I feel with that two of wands. Like, why would you even come this way when you know I'm not even going to make that choice? You know? Yeah. They're trying to create obstacles and avoid a change, but you're not doing it with them. Period. So here you are, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords right now. Tell me about this person that, um... I think they're mad too you won't give them an offer or talk to them, Scorpio. You're more focused on balancing your shit up. So tell me about this person who's scared you're walking away. The hero font, they could be a Taurus, okay? They could be someone that you had a commitment with in the past. And then we got the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This could be an Aries Taurus, Cancer. So the Queen of Wands in the reverse, this person could have been dealing with a feminine that's very jealous. Um, this is manipulation. This is dishonesty. This is also someone that's not very physically attractive. Not that that matters. Okay. But jealous of your attractiveness, Scorpio. Uh, the Four of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Ew. 
you could have an Aries very upset that you, you don't want a commitment with them. Um, yeah, that's what's going on here because look at this. It's like a missed opportunity for this person, but I feel like they were after your fortune anyways. This person was a gold digger. And I feel like that hasn't come out yet, but it's going to about this underhanded um, either man that abuses his power or an Aries. We've got the Fool and the Emperor. So what is the outcome? They're bored with it. It's like they're bored. They're bored with a Taurus. They're bored with an Aries. And these people know that, or this person knows that, and they keep trying to fix it with you or tear down your dynamic because they're jealous. How? Oh. The five of wands in the reverse. You averted a disaster, I'm telling you, my king and queen of pentacles. You're untouchable. Mm-hmm. They, I feel, want to reconcile and, and remove these burdens, but it's not happening. And again, what is this? Yeah, this is someone who's still stuck on you emotionally, Scorpio. Doesn't want you to walk away. Doesn't know which direction to go. Is obsessed with your energy. Overly emotional. And wants you overly emotional so they can try to manipulate a situation with you. But you're too strong. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the kind of cut? What is this Ten of Cups doing here? Yeah, someone's definitely clinging to an old relationship that they <laughs> definitely need to let go of. Not you, though, Scorpio. I'm talking about this person. What's the Ten of Cups for my babies? This looks good. This looks really good. I think the only thing that's kind of making me mad is the greed in the middle, you know? Mm -hmm. But for some people, that's security. It's, it's controlling. Right. Some people feel that way about their money, but I don't know. Let's see what this Ten of Cups is. The Seven of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Your ships are coming in, okay? Someone keeps trying to show you that they want you, that they want this. I also feel like someone is working really hard here to try and uh, get someone to emotionally work, like walk away from someone else and go towards them with this Five of Cups in the reverse here, okay? They're trying super hard. And it's like you took the time to really evaluate how you were feeling, Scorpio. Even if they did try to manipulate your emotions, you were comfortable where you were at. And your ships are coming in. You're excited and you're blessed. Okay? But you could have, like I said, a fire sign at a distance watching you trying to create uh, confusion magic here with the seven of cups and the nine of wands, but none of it's working. Like I said, these potions or whatever's going on here, it's not working. Yeah, this person's gonna lose their growth. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely a feminine fire sign because I got the king of wands upright, okay? So yeah, I feel like, let's put these back, obviously. But this is about your independence and people trying to figure out how you can do it. Mm-hmm. What's this Four of Pentacles? Who's clinging to Scorpio? Who, what is this greed and stuck energy? I don't like it. The Chariot, Cancer, Three of Swords, the Sun. They could be a Leo, but if you're dealing with a Leo, they're on the good side. We got a hoe here. They're trying to get enlightenment, and that's why they're still clinging to you because you're their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles. They got enlightenment about how they fucked up in the past. Page of Wands in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Mm -mm -mm. There was delays, but that's because I feel like Spirit was protecting you from this player or this hoe, okay? That's what this was all about. This person was jealous and deceitful. That's the only reason why they wanted to hang on to you. And now they're mad because you're over there happy. And you're not worried about them, okay? That's what's going on. For some of you, this is a Cancer, a Leo, or um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Mm -hmm. They see you happy now. They don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> Damn. What's this tower for real? Scorpio, don't do it. Don't bring the stinger out. Don't do it. What's the tower? Deep breaths, my babies. Five of Swords in the reverse. King of Pentacles in the reverse and the Page of Wands in the reverse. 
Yikes. Okay. Okay. So, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and the Tower. Whatever this shock is, it's good for you. Okay, that's exactly how Spirit put it to me because of your self-love, Scorpio. And they really thought they could play with you. You're the Scorpio. I like how she's looking back, too. And look at this. It's definitely a Cancer or a Pisces or an Aries Leo Sag here. That is not for your highest good. I feel like they made an offering so that you would give up on a relationship or something here. And now we got this Five of Swords in the reverse. I mean, look at these bitches. They really thought that whatever they were doing here, I'm seeing an Aquarius Super Gemini and maybe an Aries Leo Sag trying to avert this uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo male. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm getting. They were trying to delay this. They were also trying to delay a commitment. Okay, or your money. And it didn't work. So now you're going to hear about a younger fire sign or air sign who's getting into some shit. Okay, some shit for trying to mess with you. And I'm also getting, it's their laziness that creates these issues for them in their life, you know? They're not stable. They're their own worst nightmare. Yeah. What's this Nine of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles? Someone is just not giving up, Scorpio. They will not give up. The Three of Cups in the reverse. The Justice in the reverse. You're like, I'm not going to be a part of a third party, bitch. I am the Empress, okay? Ten of Cups is back again, Scorpio. Yep. So, you know, do what you got to do, but try to stay away from these energies. They're definitely trying to fight their way into yours. Mm-hmm. Here's the cards upright. They thought whatever they did around this moon was going to reverse something for you. Some of you, they could have been trying to attack your sacral chakra. None of that's worked. None of it. They got bad advice. Whoever this group of people are, it wasn't a good idea. For them to collaborate. They also feel like something's not fair because it always comes to you with the Empress being here. But it's because you love yourself, Scorpio, and you've taken the time to heal. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, self-love, self-healing, and then you find what you're looking for because you're not letting your demons control your life like half the other people on this planet, right? <laughs> right. All right, let's see what these are. Well, we know you got abundance coming in, Scorpio. Then we have Emperor. Make actions towards your goals. That came out in the other reading. Generosity. There are people, angels, ancestors around willing to help you out of the kindness of their hearts. Be grateful for the gifts coming your way. And then we have Surrender. Surrender your worries. There's a divine plan in order. See what I mean? You're about to become this Emperor of abundance. Your, your spirit guides are about to shower you with gifts. And someone is not liking it at all. But let them. I mean, you're always going to have haters, Scorpio, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see. I put both the decks together. Yes. Yes. So let's see. What is coming up for Scorpios this week in love? What does this person not want Scorpio to know? What does the energy not want my Scorpios to know? Breadcrumbing, little effort being let on and not ready to commit. Vacation, romantic getaway, spending time together, enjoying one-on-one -on -one time. And laid up, cuddle session, intimate moments, escaping the world together. And then we've got boot call. <laughs> A sexual invitation all about sex. I see you leap. This person's mad because they know you're laid up with someone that's going to give you more and they're just going to breadcrumb you and they only want a booty call. Yep. Yep. Can't make it up. What's trying to come out? Light bulb moment. Sudden realization. Feeling inspired. That's the truth. So just know that this person's inspired now that you're not interested. Uh-huh. All right. That's what they don't want you to know. What's their intention towards my Scorpio? What is this energy's intentions towards Scorpio? The cleanse, detox, purification, ridding negativity. So they want you to forget about 
everything they did. But mm, we don't forget. Hook up, fling, friends with benefits, non-committal. Scorpio ain't doing that. Maybe you are. I don't know. Zero fucks. Disregard, unfazed, unbothered. So they just want to, um, they just want to hit Scorpio. This weirdo over here. And then we got repo. Default on payments, financially incapable, repossessed assets. Okay. No. No. Someone's having sex for money. No. <laughs> Oh boy, but on the light side, Scorpio, this isn't you. This is just this person, how they feel. And they're mad because they know you're laid up with someone else and not dealing with them. Damn. They act like they don't care, but they do. So what is the overall outcome of this? Penny pinching, financial struggle, saving up and budgeting. Cloud nine, emotional fulfillment, expectations met, ecstatic. Black sheep rebelling, going against expectations and defying the norms with hands off. Territorial lover, staking claims, scaring off the competition. So they want to try to scare off your competition or someone they're dealing with thinks they can scare you off, right? Uh, no. And then we get this, you defying the norms and people being jealous of you because you're actually with someone that you want to be with right now and you're high on life and they're penny pinching and trying to fix their life up after breadcrumbing you and just using you for hookups. Damn. Whose story is that? Woo. We. Okay. Moving on. Let's look at past versus <laughs> current and future. Shit. Oh, wow. Look. I said, let's look at past versus current and future. <laughs> Are you serious? Karmic ties and then chivalry is not dead. So that was quick, Scorpio. We're putting this to bed and going towards the good. A little vacation coming up. Y'all going somewhere? I want to come. Y'all going to be hooking up and feeling good. I like it. Let's see. Tell me about this past asshole bitch. <laughs> Really, though. Unhealthy choices. Yeah, bad eating habits. Focus on health. Careful who and what you let in. Yeah, they got something now, Scorpio. That's what I'm hearing. Lone wolf, free spirit, happy single, choosing to stay single. Amen. And then right here, waiting. Expectations, yearning, and longing, waiting period. Jesus. What's at the bottom? Deep wisdom, read between the lines, be wise, and pay attention. You can see the truth clearly. So you already know, look at you, with all your butterflies and your wisdom. Yes. So you know. Yep. You know that this person is lonely, they're happy single, they make unhealthy choices, and that they're still waiting for you, but you're not waiting for them. You know what to do. Tell me about current... Oh! Ooh, look, your past person is mad. <laughs> Feeling wronged and annoyed. They don't want you to be with someone new, but who cares? Then we got cools of peppermint. This energy's light and easy. So you're going to be feeling real good, babes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Some of you are going to be making more money than your spouse, I'm hearing, too. And it's coming out of nowhere. I don't even know why I heard that. Tell me about new and current for Scorpio. What the fuck? It says the proud. Oh, shit. We got two. Mm, we ain't doing that. I feel a negative energy right now, Scorpio. So I'm going to go grab my sage. One second. It's like, I don't like it. One second. Like, no, we ain't doing all that. We ain't doing all that. Whoever's sending any negative energy towards me or my Scorpios or any of us, we return it back to sender. Return it back to sender. Okay. All right. New and current, please. New and current for Scorpio. The Lady Spider Web. New connection, shaping your reality, bringing together past, present, and future. Just like we did in this reading today. Oh, worth the fight. Not giving up easily, wanting to conquer, and fighting for your love. And then two possibilities at a crossroads. Critical sage, exploring options with... Painting roses red, trying to fix it, correcting, improving something, making the best out of a bad situation. 
So you're letting go of old temptations here with uh, letting go of the old seduction and weakness. You're not doing it anymore, Scorpio. I don't know if you were or if someone was trying to do this to you, but this is done now. Okay. And there is going to be two paths for you to choose from after meeting this new person. And whatever it does, however you're shaping your reality is going to be beautiful. Mm -hmm. You got the world in your hands, babies. Yes, you do. Hmm. Something about 12 o'clock. I don't know what that means, but something's happening around 12 o'clock. All right. What is the outcome this week for Scorpio? What's the overall energy? Communication. Needs to clarify something. Email, text, phone call, text messages. Sorry, I already said that. Twin flame. Yes, they are your twin flame. Yin and yang. Life forever changed. And then the hand of fate, fated events, fated relationship forces beyond your control with battle wounds at the bottom, a loyal companion, and a long list. So high maintenance, unrealistic standards, loyal and devoted with an ongoing battle. <laughs> you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that you just raised your standards, Scorpio, and you're telling people if you thought you could fuck with me before, you better not try me now. Things have changed. Damn, Scorpio took out the trash this week, okay? And busting out receipts with the um <laughs> long list. I don't think that that was high maintenance. I think that's Scorpio saying, you had me fucked up right here. Right here, right here. <laughs> I know y'all too well. Um, What should we do? Romance angels? No, we're sick of those. We're fucking sick of the romance angels. Let's see. We'll do that for the end of the reading. Let's go to this deck. We haven't used it in a while. Let's see what you need to know for you and about this person and just what's going on generally in the middle of this week, okay? So what does Scorpio need to know this week? Runner. Afraid of doing the work. Selfish. Fears change and the unknown. Afraid of intimacy and unawakened. Doesn't feel worthy of your time and energy and needs constant validation with cycles dysfunctional unstable hurtful toxic same scenarios keep occurring but unable to learn unnecessary lessons so this is you running away from someone that was running from you in the past and trying to create these illusions for you maybe was even gossiping about you um pill popping coming in with this victim mentality because they have so much outer turmoil in their lives and they wanted you to be stuck but you're not all right, so what is the overall outcome this week then for Scorpio coming out of this energy? It says attach. Afraid of the unknown, karmic ties and responsibilities in a committed relationship with someone else. So for me, this is you going towards your new love and telling this person to fuck off. Absolutely. And they're probably still attached to karmics. Tell me about this person. What does Scorpio need to know about them? Rebuilding, starting over, but better than ever. Moving forward with hard work and communication, being honest with one's feelings and aspirations for the connection. Oops, I got to go down here. Oh, desensitizing. Emotionally detached due to fear and unwanted behaviors, feeling numb and suppressing feelings through either drugs, alcohol, or some addictive behavior. Wow. And the outcome? Telepathic. Random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin. Notice patterns, images, or numbers in your day-to-day -day that remind you of this person. This is a false twin issue here, Scorpio, where someone, you know, they latched onto your energy, but they're not your twin. They just are addicted to your light. So they're still trying to find you telepathically. And when they can't, they'll message you or they'll, you know, keep pulling, trying to pull you into their bullshit. So what is the overall this week that Scorpio needs to know about the situation to protect themselves? A small offering. I want, or it says, I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. And then at the bottom, we got tower moment. Changes that are difficult but necessary for growth moments in life that pushes us to be better and do better because we deserve better. Not this small offering. I know that's right. <laughs> but this person is infatuated with you and they did want to create these illusions. Now they're talking shit to somebody here and I feel like they don't know how to confront their feelings so they're running away but then they've got someone telling them what to do here this is probably a karmic here giving them advice 
and then they don't listen to their intuition so they can't have this glow up there is no time left for this person there's no more fighting with this person there's no more union because you're about to meet the person that you're going to be a power couple with a great source of power with Ooh. <laughs> damn all right let's go to all signs all right, my babies, let's do it. Let's see what's going on. I was going to ask you guys, you see my sunburn? I am so burnt, you guys. <laughs> and playing with my cats too much. You see all my scratches? Mm-hmm. I just saw investigation. So someone's watching you, Scorpio. Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to do this one, this one, and then this one. All right, so let's start. Let me shuffle this one first. Bitch, why aren't you ready? Oh, give me a second. Hold on. I'm about to be. I'm about to be. I just remembered I used these for the last reading, except for this deck here. So I gotta shuffle these bitches. All right. One more time. Just a little. Scorpio and all the signs. All right, here we go, babies. Whew. This is my favorite part because I can just grab the damn card and relax. All right, here we go. Let me get my little drink of coffee. My baby's graduating today, y'all. Can you believe that? Oh, my God. I'm so proud of her, too. She got two scholarships. My baby is so smart, y'all. And today we get to celebrate her. I couldn't be more proud. I'm telling y'all, I could not. I could cry. I'm not going to do it, though. I'm not going to do it. All right, so let's see. Scorpio dealing with an Aries. We got flings. I've been sleeping around sometimes one night stand. Ew. Stop. With, I see all of the signs that remind me of you even when I act like I don't. And then we've got taming the beast. You make them putty in your hands. They know your old conquering, their old conquering ways won't work with you. So you might have had like a Aries that was too much in your energy. But they are thinking about you. Scorpio and Leo, we have control. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. And I'm in love with you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart with mixed signals. The cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. So you might feel like this person is giving you mixed signals, but they do love you. Okay. Scorpio and a Sag. All in my head, your love has captured me. Everywhere I look, I see your face with, I've been put down and belittled so much that I've actually started to believe it. I get that someone sits by the water. A Sag sits by the water and thinks about you. And then missing you, that's crazy. Look, she's literally hovering over the water. What? It says their life feels empty without you. They miss you more than words can say, but they think it's too late to fix things. Probably. <laughs> Scorpio and an Aquarius. Worried. I'm worried it might be too late to make things right between us. And I love your natural beauty. Stop comparing yourself to my exes. Scorpio, don't do that, okay? And then investigating. They're secretly snooping and asking friends about you in order to see if you're dating someone new. So now we know who's investigating you. They have Aquarius in their chart. Scorpio and a Libra. Undecided. Honestly, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure if I want a relationship. With, it takes a lot for me to put my pride aside. Well, okay. Then just don't be in a relationship, dumbass. With power couple. <laughs> it's too late. This is not you and this person. This is you and someone else. Yep. It says they see that both of you have an equal exchange of power that can make you unstoppable as a couple. That's why they're over there studying your new relationship. They just, they're deciding if they want to come in and fuck it up. Gemini and Scorpio missing you. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I missed you with i know that we've crossed paths for a reason what we have is unexplainable and dealt a bad hand they wish they had met you at a different time because they feel they'll never get to see what the connection could have been this person was stuck in their head anyways that's kind of how i'm getting it scorpio um scorpio and a capricorn telepathic i close my eyes to speak to you in a hundred ways they sure do have their eyes closed um, do some cord cutting if you don't want to deal with a Capricorn. When I pull away, it's because I'm trying to keep you away from the drama that's going on in my life. Yeah, you probably don't have anything to do with them. And then I knew it. Look, these cards just keep telling the story. Endings. There you are, Scorpio. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. 
I knew it. That's why I said cord cut. I felt it. Taurus and Scorpio, we have dating. I'm back in the dating scene and making the effort to move on with, I don't know how to tell you that I see us as just friends and uprooting. They're leaving all that's familiar to them to start a long-term relationship or brand new life with you. So this person might have told you before, like, no, and now they're just uprooting and doing a complete 160 on you, Scorpio. <laughs> the hell? Scorpio and a Virgo. Shut down. I'm spring off dating. I have no desire to be with anyone. With the way that I feel for you scares me. You don't realize the control you have over me with healing. They're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance to the connection. Not bad. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, we got apology. I'm sorry for disappointing you. Will you accept my apology? And reach out to me. I need to hear from you. With unexpected, the answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late or you might have moved on. So you're moving on from a cancer or they're moving on from you. And I'm just noticing this card that shouldn't be in here. Hospital visit. Now I want to see what was between that and hospital. Let me see. We got moved on in the reverse and on top of it was angry. So someone is, someone might end up hurting themselves. Or they're getting therapy over you, Scorpio. Because <laughs> they miss you. It says, I can crap myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out. Hospital visit and can't move on. So if this person did get something, that's their own damn fault. Look at this. Breaking point. So I'm going to put all these cards to the side now. Okay. Oh, Lord. And we're going to look at Pisces. <laughs> Scorpio. Arrogance. If I don't get what I want from you, I'll get it from someone else. And I talk to my friends about you all the time. And then battle of the wits. Until both of you learn to let your guards down and be vulnerable, this love will continue to be a battle. I wish you would fucking play with me, Pisces. Bitch. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Scorpio. Scorpio. Drama. I have a lot of drama in my life and I'm trying to stay out of it. How do you stay out of your own drama? You fix it. Then we got, I get so nervous thinking about how I'm going to propose. I want to make you my wife or husband. Mm, that's quite the mix there. With betrayal. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. It says your soul deserves better, Scorpio. That's big, okay? Not just your heart, your whole damn soul. <laughs> so don't let this bitch in. If they got Scorpio. Mm -mm. All right. We have elimination. I'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us. Unintentional. I never meant to hurt you. Just not who you think I am. And freedom. I want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now with fantasizing. Can't stop my mind from escaping to a place only you and I know. Let's see. We got... I can make up a lie on the spot. I've been lying to you. So they didn't really eliminate anyone if they said they did or addictions, okay? Then we have, I'm too afraid to fight for you. I'm sorry. And they know that. Okay, so that's good. With, <laughs> I'm not one to believe in spiritual things, but right now I have to believe that we are meant to be and we will be. But right now they're happy to be single. See, this person contradicts themselves. It's not okay. And I see why you don't deal with this person if, you, if, you, if you're not anymore, okay? It says, I'm only in a relationship because you're still in a relationship. Mm -mm. This is childish, for real. This person is all about fantasy. My freaking 11-year-old is smarter than this. Okay. So we got fairy tale. What did I just say? <laughs> it says, they think this kind of love only happens in fairy tale stories because to them, you're too perfect to believe it's true. But you're also too perfect that they still couldn't get their shit together. So... Divine intervention. They're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them to gain clarity on this connection. And then separation. They're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there's nothing to give. So see what I'm saying? This person would have still tried to get in pants or something, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting with this fantasy shit. But they've been lying to you. They're not going to fight for your love. They didn't eliminate shit. They're still dealing with all these peoples or things. Okay? And then we got broken. They feel broken inside and don't feel stable enough to trust themselves with your heart at this time. Be patient. But you don't have nothing to be patient about, Scorpio. That's them. Okay? We ain't got time for them. Yeah, look. Potential in the reverse. In overflow. They waited too damn long. Okay? 
Yeah. So I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. It was a lot, okay? And I hope you have an amazing weekend. I love, love, love you guys.